All right, so I thought I'd give a quick demo on how the color contrast validator works inside InDesign. Now this is a plugin for InDesign. And so if I open up my color palette here, I can see I've got quite a few colors. And if I wanted to know which color combinations are accessible, I would have to go in maybe uh, to any of the online uh, color contrast analyzers and copy and paste these, or I might have to just use the color contrast analyzer, right? And start using my eyedropper to sample different colors and figure out which ones are which, but there's no real easy way to, to sample all of these colors and give me all the combinations except for using the color contrast validator. So what I can do is if I go to window and then utilities and scripts, now I've already installed this on my computer and I'm going to use the color contrast validator. All I have to do is double click it. It's going to open up a new document and it's going to ask me, do I want to compare all swatches or do I just want to compare two swatches with tints? So what this does, well, I'll show you what it does in just a second. So we're going to use all swatches and I have a background and foreground color and I just hit OK. And what it's doing right now is it's building a matrix for me of all the colors within the document that are inside my color palette. Now, it's not going to sample colors in images, but it is going to go through anything that's in the color, uh, the uh, color swatches. Right. And so you can see from this, what we've got here now is an entire matrix of all the different colors. And these, you know, each one of these blocks tell us that it DNP stands for does not pass. This text passes at a double A level with 5.3 to one color contrast. This color contrast is 11.2 at triple A. Right. So if uh, this gives you a really clear, uh, quick snapshot of all the color combinations. Now, someone had pointed out, well, you know, it's really hard for me to show this to a client with all these red DNPs. So I developed another uh, script here. And if we just run the switcher, what it does is it goes through and it finds every one of the swatches that are do not pass values and it basically turns them white. So once you've identified what doesn't pass and you just want to show the client, hey, here's what passes. Once the script is done running, it tells you okay. And now you literally just have a matrix of all the passing color combinations. And now you can see what color combinations are good with what other, you know, foregrounds and backgrounds, right? Okay, so that's the the switcher, the uh, color contrast validator uh, using all swatches. But what if I just want to compare two? Let's just say I really like this teal. Let's go with how about... Um, the the purple and the the dark gray here right so i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna close this out and i'm gonna run the color contrast validator again and it's gonna ask me again what do i want to do this time i'm gonna say compare two swatches now it activates this foreground and background and i'm gonna say i want you to compare the light purple with the medium gray, right? Actually, let's do the dark purple with the medium gray because we're going through tints. Now, what it does is it builds a matrix pretty quickly of all of the tints at 10% values for just those two color combinations. So then you can go through and go, okay, if I just want to use purple and gray, how close can I get? What are the combinations I can use? And again, I can use the color contrast switcher to turn off all of those others and i can see okay in my light ranges these are the combinations that work and in my dark ranges these are the combinations that work right and you can see that large text only lto uh i can use a fairly light uh, purple with white and it will still pass color contrast. But of course, if I want double A compliance, then really this is kind of the, um, these two tints here at 80% really are the uh, range I want to shoot for. So I hope that helps you guys understand how the color contrast validator works. The nice thing is no copying and pasting of anything outside in some browser somewhere, but this is just how the program, how the plugin works inside the program.